from a half guard that I just showed you. It's, it's basically the, the front part of the twister, only we're going to transition to this side and finish it with a crank. Or it could be a choke, we'll, we'll see. So he's controlling his arm. Wrap it around up underneath here. To where my, my elbow is up underneath his, his, uh, his neck here. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in right now. And then from here, I'm spreading them out. Transition to this side and bringing it up for the crank. Not only the crank, but it really slows the blood supply down. Come on, one more time. <laughs> Take this back and wrap it up underneath. And another way to keep him from doing what he's doing right now, I was, I was trying to get my arm out. Just trying to uh, try to get this arm out. Just control this arm underneath here. So you're gonna have this and this, which keeps him. From, ah. Go ahead. What sound effects? <laughs> it hurts. He's trying to get his arm back to, to create some kind of trying, problem. Yeah, I'm trying to get this this arm back this way, but he's got it hooked pretty good. Because I feel all this problem and all this weight, and I know this isn't good where I'm at. All because why? Because I let my arms flare out, and he got in under him. All right. So just control it at the back of the tricep right here. Okay. So here I am. And then from here, we're going to spread him out, putting our weight on his chest, and we're going to come across. You see how I did that there? It's basically just handing his hips off to each one of my shins. There. I'm still controlling, sitting through here, and then bring it up. And if it's not going to do that, just go ahead and wrap there. He's not going to submit there, just grab the top of his head. Creating all kinds of problems, pain, pain compliance. I got